Sales of previously owned homes jumped last month. They went up eight tenths of a percent to nearly five million homes sold. It is the biggest gain in over three years. David Linegar is chairman and co-founder of the real estate company Remax. Douglas Yearly is the CEO of the home builder Toll Brothers. And also with us, our business and economics correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us what is in fact happening and whether you think it is sustainable. Well, the market's back. We've had a horrible six years, the worst in this country's history. And in the last year, uh, new home sales have come back uh, tremendously. It's mainly because there's pent up demand coming out from nobody buying for six years, very little inventory on the resale market. And yes, this feels like the beginning of a long sustained recovery. And will it have an impact on employment? Absolutely. Every new home that's built uh, leads to a whole bunch of new jobs, not just in building the home, but in the decorators and the landscapers and everything that a new family goes out and buys. So we have a huge impact on the economy. Douglas, are you able to build fast enough to meet the demand for inventory? Well, uh, ahead, yeah, yeah. I, I, I built. And uh, we are, anytime you have the beginning of a new cycle, it's hard for the subcontractors to go out and find new employees. We're also ramping up our company internally. That's pretty much behind us now. It's still going on to some extent, but it was a lot worse three to six months ago. And uh, we're fine. We'll be able to build. It's a little slower now, but it's ramping up as many employees come back into home building. Mm -hmm. And, and David, let me ask you, um, what does this mean in terms of the real estate market? Have you seen the numbers sort of, and when was sort of, did it start to take off? Uh, it started about a year ago. Mm -hmm. It's happening much faster than has been predicted. Um, for the new home builders, what's happening is uh, people are trying to buy houses, but they're competing uh, in the resale business with all the investors. Mm -hmm. Investors, no qualifying uh, paying full cra uh, cash, yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. And so what's happening is people are giving up after their third and fourth offer, and they're going and putting a deposit down with a new home builder. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's one of the issues, one of the caveats to this story, which is about a fifth of the home purchases in this country right now are coming from investors. That's people who are buying in all cash deals who will eventually be putting those homes mm -hmm. back out right. on the market. Right. Right. Another thing is you talk about price appreci appreciation. Wages in this country are going up between two and three percent. Home values are going up between four and five times that number. So ultimately when people are out there looking at this choice, they're looking at their wages obviously and it's becoming more expensive for some people. And lastly, the last caveat is the shadow inventory. The number of homes that are still pent up in the foreclosure process right. in states that need judicial review, those homes are eventually going to go back out on the market at depressed prices, and that could, yeah. in some areas, drive down prices again. <clears throat> now, what's interesting to me is that for a long time, people said the housing market is going to start, and it didn't. They said because they had to flush out the, the housing mm -hmm. that was oversupplied mm -hmm. in the market. And now you're saying it's come back faster than you imagine. What's the well, the problem is, uh, now the problem is there's not enough inventory in the right price ranges. Uh, if you look at some of the markets, San Diego, San Francisco, Denver, Colorado, yeah. we have less than two months inventory out there in the price ranges that are selling. Mm -hmm. And construction so, workers who are back in the market rebuilding are now asking for more money. A number of them, because they left the business, because it was a dead business for so many years, they found other jobs and they need more money to build. That will drive up the price of homes. Douglas, do you have the workers? I mean, Melody was saying that part of it is finding construction workers who left to find other jobs right. during the downturn. Just can what I find, said. Yeah, right. can you find? Yeah, it, it's been a problem. It's easing. Uh, it's typical of any recovery. Mm -hmm. and, this, and this downturn was so deep and so long that many more workers left the industry. But they're now coming back as, as they see the opportunities. Uh, we have a lot more coming back, and it is easing. Mm -hmm. What could go wrong? Hmm. Well, I don't think interest rates is going to be it because the, the government's going to keep the interest rates low for at least a couple more years. Uh, the problem is housing affordability. And as prices go up, you start pricing out of the market people even at a low interest rate. Yeah. The first time home buyers, for example, those are the people who generally come into the market and buy up the new inventory. They make up 30% of the market right now, whereas usually they make up 40 and a big part of that is because of the cost. All right, David Linegar, Doug, Douglas Yearly, and Rebecca Jarvis, thank you all very, very much.